So before we learnt about the five kingdoms as a way of classifying living things, but we need to be more specific to be able to classify every single species on Earth. So the five kingdoms aren't specific enough. They're helpful, but we need to go down to a smaller level. And one way of doing that is using seven different levels of classification, which seems like a lot, but the more that you become familiar with them, the easier they are to remember. And the proper name for this, for these seven levels, is taxonomy. And as I mentioned, there are seven levels. And we start off with larger groups. Groups that contain lots and lots of organisms. And we go down to specific groups. Which is just one species, like a human. One way of picturing how these seven levels work is think of it like the address of an organism. Just like it's the address of your house in your street. So what we'll do is have a look at the address of the Eureka Tower here to give us an idea of how classification works. So here is the Eureka Tower in Melbourne. It's the tallest building in Melbourne. And let's start by classifying the address of the Eureka Tower. And we'll think of the biggest group that we could put it in. And I would say it's in the universe is the first level. The next level is, what galaxy is it in? And we're in the Milky Way. Then we can think, what system are we in on Earth? And we're in the solar system. Then smaller than the solar system is which planet is the Eureka Tower on. It's on planet Earth. So each step here, as we go down, we are becoming more and more specific so that we can find the exact address of the Eureka Tower. So after planet, we would name the country that the Eureka Tower is in. And we're in Australia. After that, the state, which is Victoria. Then a suburb, which is, it's actually in South Bank, right near the city. And then finally, we could write down the street address. And the Eureka Tower, looking at it on Google Maps, it's at 7 Riverside Key in South Bank. So we can see we started off at a really large group, the universe, and as we've gone down it's become narrower and narrower until we found the exact address of the Eureka Tower. So you can picture it like a funnel. We started really broad and we ended up being really specific. We have all the addresses at the start, and then we only have one specific address at the end. So the way that this is similar to classification in biology 
is that each of the seven levels of taxonomy work in exactly the same way. So let's go through the seven levels firstly. The top level we've actually seen before. It's a kingdom. And we've learnt about the five kingdoms. After kingdom, each kingdom can then be split up into different phylums. After phylum, we have different classes. In each class, different orders. Each order is made up of different families. Each family is made of different genuses. And then finally, each genus has a species, or has many species. One good method for remembering all of these seven levels is to think of the saying, King Philip crawled over gooey snails over four gooey snails. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species.